Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, with the insanely fast time to kill in Call of Duty Vanguard, if you're not using a premium gun setup, you're at a huge disadvantage. Surprisingly, it only takes a couple of attachments to make an average gun top tier. So without further ado, let's jump into my top five most broken gun setups in Vanguard. Coming in at number five is the MP40 SMG. You'll only need two attachments, the 8mm Kurs 32 round mags, which boost body damage and maximum damage range, and the hollow point ammo type, which deals increased damage to the limbs. Stacking these two attachments will provide reliable 107 millisecond two-shot kills out to a range of 16.8 meters as long as one shot lands to the limbs. The hollow point attachment will actually reward inaccuracy and works especially well with hip fire, making the MP40 top tier in close range. Coming in at number four is the STG44. Once again, we'll only need two attachments, the Krausnik 620 mm precision barrel and the vital proficiency, which extends the vital damage area to include the chest. Once equipped, these two attachments will provide reliable two-shot kills out to an incredible range of 51 meters, with an extremely fast time to kill of only 100 milliseconds. The STG's easy handling characteristics, combined with an impressive time to kill, allows the STG-44 to easily compete with any of the assault rifles at mid-range, as well as the SMGs at close range. At number three, the ITRA Burst Assault Rifle. We'll use the 270 mm barrel for an 81.4% increase to vital damage, and the vital proficiency will extend the vital damage area to include the chest. Equipping these two attachments almost guarantees a one burst kill, and has a potential TTK of only 83 milliseconds if you're able to land at least one vital shot with one shot to the stomach. You'll get the best results with the ITRA burst simply by aiming for center mass and letting the recoil carry the next shots up into the vital area. If you're successful, you'll outgun every SMG and AR in the game. Next up at number two is the Combat Shotgun. We'll use four attachments to create a top-tier close-ranged weapon. The sawed-off barrel, the 12-gauge five-round tube magazine, in the ammo type category, packed powder, and finish up with the vital proficiency. Once equipped with these attachments, we'll only need a single pellet to land anywhere on the body to secure the one-shot kill within 6.6 .6 meters. Using the combat shotgun in this configuration is as easy as it gets. There's no need to aim down sight, just fire in the general direction of the enemy for easy kills. Finally, coming in at number one is the SVT-40 Marksman Rifle. We'll use the Kovalevskaya 800mm barrel to boost body damage and vital damage by 15.8% and we'll use the vital proficiency for an increased one-shot kill zone. Using these attachments will give us a one-shot kill to the entire upper body out to an unlimited range. With marksman rifle handling characteristics and sniper rifle power, the SVT-40 is easily the best long-range option in Call of Duty Vanguard. That completes my list of the top five most broken gun setups in Vanguard. Using these weapon setups in the standard playlist often feels like playing in hardcore mode from past Call of Duty titles. With insane time to kill potential and easy handling characteristics, each of these guns desperately needs a nerf. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and now I'd like to hear from you guys. Are you happy with the fast TTK that we're seeing in Vanguard? Or do you prefer the slower time to kill from past titles? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.